So, I got a dowel and a, and a hammer. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna get on top and boom. There we go. Well, as you can see, that went perfectly as planned. Uh, I gave it one too many whacks. I'm gonna have to watch the video again, but I think what happened was the rubber or the uh, leather came off and it just hit the Allen wrench and uh, just broke, so. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's 60 bucks down the drain. This was a really sharp knife too. Okay. All right, folks, just got this bad boy in the mail in case. I took my address off, so nobody freak out. Oh, man, I'm excited. It's been a few weeks, and since I snapped off that blade, let's use my electrician knife to break into this bad boy. All right, I'm being an idiot. This is not how you get in this. I can already tell. There's like a different way. I'm cutting towards myself. This is against all the rules. Okay. Now we're cooking with grease. By the way, if you haven't seen the electrician, it's actually really cool. It's a little bit thinner than like a Pioneer or something. Let me get this to focus. There we go. But it doesn't have scissors or a saw. It does have an awl, though, which they make a really good awl. And also, it has this really cool little electrician's blade. So you can strip wire. But anyway, that'll be a different review. So let's see what's in this bad boy. Oh! Already they're getting points with me because they sent back my Victorinox sheet that I sent it in. So in the instructions, when you send in a knife or warranty or whatever, um, they tell you to send it in something that protects it. So you get one of these, like how to care for your knife. Have 300 of those. All right, drum roll. Man, this is gonna be quick. Oh, okay. When I sent it in this, I sent it in this as kind of like, I know this will protect it, so I have a bunch of these, but I'm glad they sent it back because I love these things. In fact, I'm going to put this bad boy in there right now. Oh, yeah. All right. So I snapped the blade trying to recenter it and um, make sure this is focused here. I'm using my phone. So I need to buy a real camera. I was trying to recenter it and snapped it. It was cold out here and I hit it too hard with a hammer. Oh, okay. So I guess the question is, is it the same knife with the new blade? Oh my God. You're not gonna believe this. I don't even wanna say what happened because people are gonna start doing it, but this is crazy. So this is, okay, this is the Peach Seed. I forget what it's called, but it's like a new case Sodbuster Jr. in their carbon steel, which I don't really know much about. I've been carrying a carbon steel one for the last few weeks, and I'll be honest with you, I think it's really cool. This is a great knife, by the way. Oh, man, look at how sexy that is. This one has an awl on it. Instead of the three regular three blade stockman, but I've been impressed with the carbon steel. But at the time that I sent this in, I was not impressed with it. I was like, man, I just snapped this blade. I barely touched it, which is not true. I did more than barely touch it. I whacked it with a hammer. But anyway, it was like thirty dollars or something to replace the blade. Um, which you know, whatever. But uh, it it wasn't a warranty issue, but just for the heck of it on the instructions I was like hey uh, if you're gonna replace it and you find one of those CV blades laying around 
I know that I love CV, so if you slap that in there, I'll be much obliged. And they put a CV blade on this. So we got a knife that was made more recently, but we have a CV blade instead of a carbon steel blade. And I understand CV is carbon steel, but CV is a special steel that case made forever. And I think the reason they quit making CV is because supply chain issues. And they're like, this is what I heard, um, that they can't guarantee that they can get CV anymore. So, or make it and get the materials to make it. So they started just calling them carbon steel. And then who knows what it is, right? It could be anything, any different day of the week. But this is actually a CV blade that they put on this. And this knife is only made in carbon, in the CS, the carbon steel. So that, that makes me super happy. It's like the peach seed something. So I guess I have a one of a kind knife. The blade centering is not perfect, but you know what? I think we're gonna leave it alone. Moral of the story is leave it alone. Another cool thing is they didn't just send me a new knife. They fixed the one that I sent in. I remember it had a couple little dings on the shield. And that's how I know this is the same knife. So, same knife. They just put a different blade on it. And they put a CV blade on it. Oh! Let's see how sharp it is. Came from the factory. I don't think they have time to sharpen these blades either. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. You know what, Case? You do a lot of stuff right, and you do some stuff wrong. But this one, you got right. Thank you. If you would have put a half stop on there, you would have been my best friend forever. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. I can't wait to sharpen this bad boy up. Love you guys at Case, man. And you know, Zippo and Case are owned by the same company. Man, Zippos are pretty awesome, too. I use those all the time. All right, short video, but, uh, yeah. Uh, watch the video where I snap the blade trying to recenter. I guess the message is to my future self is don't worry about recentering them. Just enjoy them. They're not perfect, but, man, they hooked me up, y'all. Now people are going to start snapping their blades and sending them in asking for CV. I don't know how calm, I don't know how much they're going to do in the future. I don't know how many of those they have laying around, but they put a CV blade on it. That is freaking awesome.